What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing another AI tool shootout uh, between two audio production tools this time. These are two EQs that utilize AI heavily and help the process go quite a bit faster. At least that's what they claim to do. So we're going to put them to the test today and see if they're worth the hype. Do a little good old fashioned shootout. All right, so we're working on a remix of a song that I made with a buddy of mine and we released it about half a year ago. And I thought it'd be a good test for both of these tools to test it on the mastering, the vocals, and maybe a couple different things uh, like guitar and, and drums. With my heartache and the mistakes. Here's what the drop sounds like before. All right, so getting started with Neutron 5. Let's see what it can do on the mastering side of things. Really quick and easy setup. You just pull the plug-in up and it learns the track. Really like the interface on this. Um, I could hear an immediate change as soon as I let it learn the track and it added a bunch of effects that it thought it would need. And then it even left out some effects that are still included within the Neutron system. But because it analyzes it you know, with AI, it, it is able to tell what it needs and what it doesn't. So that's a really cool thing, especially when you're trying to move fast. So the AI analyzed the track and it added EQ, uh, Sculptor, which is a variation of EQ, and then a bunch of effects, dynamics, saturation, you can add width, all these different things. There's a million of them. It's basically got like every, every common thing that you see on a mastering track, limiter, EQ, compressors, uh, density, exciter, which is saturation, different things that usually you see on a master track. It's got everything there, which is really nice to have all in one, but it's the X factor here is the fact that AI analyzes the track for you and makes decisions with all these different tools combined, which is really honestly crazy. Sometimes you can't beat a human touch, obviously, but AI can definitely get you closer to the end result quite a bit faster. Pursuing, so I'm leaning. I'm Moving on to Smart EQ 4, it's a little bit simpler of a layout. You still got tons of options, but it's the same basic concept. Let AI learn the track, let it analyze it, and then make decisions based on what it hears. I really like the sound of what it came up with initially, although it was a little bit thin sounding in my headphones. So I, uh, I turned it down, messed with it a little bit, and it's great that both of these tools allow you to uh, completely customize the results. It's not like, you know, once AI makes the decision, it's stuck. You know, you can move it around as much as you need to. All right, let's try it on the vocal by itself. See how it does. Doesn't take long at all. Ooh, I like, I like what it did. It does sound a little bit tinny. It's almost like it boosted the high end and cut too many lows. Still pretty impressive result though. I mean, it definitely in a lot of areas of the EQ spectrum, it sounds better for sure. So it's nice to be able to adjust it to taste. I also threw it on uh, the guitar, the drums, and the pad sounds that we have in the track just to see what it could do with each of those, kind of fine tune it after already doing some mastering processing. And for the most part, I agreed with the decisions that the AI made. I would say like 80, 85% agree with all the cuts and boosts that the EQs were making. So let's have a listen to the final result and compare everything together. To me, y'all, to me, it's a clear winner. Neutron takes it away by a mile. Obviously, 
it's got more features it's a bigger plug-in but even with some of the EQ moves I still almost I liked what Neutron did a little bit more than EQ 4 although EQ 4 still it's a great plug-in it's not like it's bad just compared to Neutron I think I'll have to give it to Neutron on this one when it comes down to the two of them it's just got more capabilities and you get a little bit more of an intense change to your sound that is pretty safe. So I want to hear y'all's opinions in the comments. Let me know which one you think won. Was it Neutron? Was it EQ4? And also, what's your opinion about what AI can do in the music production space? I think it's great. I think it's going to help us a lot, but everybody's got a different viewpoint on it. So let us know what you think in the comments and like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.